So to come back to Patanjali, so I, um, for some reason it came to me that I should teach this course in Sanskrit. So I, I did once in Cabo, Mexico. And prayed to this, I was uh, in India a year ago. And I was uh, asked to go to a place, a temple, where he himself uh, worshipped Lord Shiva to get his powers. And it is very difficult to find the temple because it is in a village, abandoned. <coughs> but with the help of the police, you uh, know, I was able to go and get the get to that place and then there was no priest and nobody was available so the police went and got the key somehow of the temple and I opened the key and I opened the doors and went inside and did the puja myself because there was nobody there. Uh -huh. And then there was a statue of Patanjali there. And the reason why I am connected with him is I and Patanjali have the same goal. What is the goal? That people should not have <clears throat> suffering at all. The purpose of yoga is to have a pain-free life. Pain on the level of the body, pain on the level of the mind. The body should not have any diseases the mind should not have any ignorance. And that is all the program is about. So I have the same agenda as Patanjali had. Okay. Because there is an invisible world that we are not able to see. So everything is knowable and everything is doable. Everything is knowable, everything is doable. So what's the problem? The problem is we don't have the knowledge. We are ignorant. So we have to get that knowledge. We can almost reverse, reverse everything that we have created through our own ignorance whether it is a disease or a financial problem or a relationship problem. Everything is re reversible. Then only we can call ourselves <coughs> enlightened. There is nothing hidden from our view. There is nothing that we cannot <coughs> do. We can do everything. <clears throat>